السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته <laughs> Welcome to Muslim Farmville where you can find a spirituality, sustainable and slow living lifestyle How are we going to live slow today? I like those flowers Yep, these are very pretty, aren't they? Mm -hmm. My youngest went to the field and uh, she picked that up and she said mom these are for you nice. is that nice yeah, it's awesome. yes this video literally was highly requested i'm getting instagram dms a lot of a comment i put a video up that was the fat farmer <laughs> how did she lost the weight and why <laughs> so then i was talking about a little bit how i make how i still eat uh, bread yeah. And I was yeah. able to shed over 50 pounds. This uh, recipe was really good. Yes. You did good. So this recipe, it's a low carb keto bread and it's really, really like high good nutrition in there. It's good nutrition. And it, the thing about it that's nice is that it's like the texture of it and everything is really like bread. It's, it's it looks it's, like you know, bread. a lot of times when you do alternative meal, like alternative recipes, it's like eh, it's okay but it's but this is actually it's spot just, on yeah it's spot on it looks like bread it tastes like bread and you feel also yeah. content satiated yeah. you can cut it nice and thin and everything too and it still looks you know holds the bread thin. this recipe it's not our recipe this recipe was from a documentary oh, that we yeah, saw that's right what was that documentary's name the magic pill yes that's what it was i will link also in the description that documentary so that's where this <coughs> recipe was from macadamia bread and we thought cool let's try it and add it into our diet and you have to remember even though we are a mom and a dad to uh, our family uh, our children don't do a uh, low carb lifestyle every day like we do right. They will eat the bread and they do eat it and they do like it. So you guys will see in our video that lately, especially summer, I have been making for them. I brought it out, my sour uh, dough oh, starter. Yeah, exactly. So I have been making bread for my children as well. So yes, we do make foods that fit our lifestyle and our health, especially my health journey and also make it for what my family also needs to eat. Yep. But this bread, we would make it May Allah now. bless you for that too. Thank it's you. really nice. <laughs> it's nice that you do that. Yeah, when you have, you know, you it's have a extra family. work though, so may Allah reward you. But when we make this bread, it lasts it's really long oh, yeah. time, unless the children yeah. eat it with us. Because the thing about it, I mean, it, <clears throat> it definitely is a nice piece of bread and everything like that, but like after you're doing this for a while, you don't really have the cravings for bread anymore. Yeah, that's so, so it's like true. we don't like chop up the whole loaf and just eat it like crazy. Yeah. We just have a piece here and there and we're done. Last time we made it was Ramadan. Yeah. You remember that? Exactly. And you are the only one who ate it with me and we had the whole half a piece left. So now we're literally making this a video bread special for you guys because yeah. you requested and we want to respect that. So we will show you what we have. All you will need is food processor raw macadamia nuts, fresh lemon juice, baking soda, salt, coconut, butter, eggs, any eggs will do. I have used duck eggs, I have used chicken eggs, I have used pheasant eggs, so any eggs will do. First thing I like to do is turn the oven at 350. Yeah. Gotcha. Good. Let's make sure there's nothing in there. Sometimes I have my sour. <laughs> dough and a pizza when I'm making it, you know, in there. You will need a small pot. We're going to pour a pot some water. Double boil it? Yep. What we will do is measure the coconut butter, one cup, and melt it. And that's coconut butter, not coconut oil. oil. Yep, this is must be. Yeah. There we go. We're just going to let that melt. We will measure the macadamia. We need about two and a fourth a cup. This is what it looks like for now. Personally, I like using duck eggs because they are larger and less acidy, more protein, 
but if you're gonna use chicken eggs, use six of them. But for us, since we have abundance of duck eggs, we will use five, five. eggs. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep on eye the uh, coconut butter and melt in it. This is what the butter looks like. It's all melted. So now we have the macadamia nuts and the coconut butter. Yep. While it's blending together, we will put the eggs one at a time. In here, yeah. Okay. So. One at a time, learn they're all together. I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's turn it on and mix it together. <laughs> so now we have everything in there. We just need one tablespoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of lemon. A little bit of vanilla would be great because the smell of the baking soda usually kind of bothers me. And then the lemon and half a teaspoon of salt and that's it. Lemon goes there. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool reaction. And then, Half a teaspoon of salt, and that's it, you all. Mix it together. So we have just a regular bread pan. Olive oil, avocado oil, whatever you have, just a little bit. And that's it. This is what the dough looks like. It looks great and it smells good. Be white, be black, be whatever you want to be. You need some lotion, you need some oil, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's our, our, our chapstick. That's what it looks like. So now are you ready this to go into the oven? Yeah, you want me to stick it in there? Or 350 for about 50 to 55 minutes. It really depends your oven though, honestly. Our oven is kind of old. <laughs> we kept us hot. Yep. How's that? All good. Yep. My husband wanted to mention a couple of things. Because if you said, did I mention this bread is a little... It's a little bit expensive. Uh, it tastes great, but uh, the the coconut butter is pretty expensive. You know, you get, get that big jar and you use quite a bit of it. And then macadamia nuts also are usually kind of expensive. But in the end, I mean, you don't eat it that often. So. But I look at it as investing your health. Yeah, that's true. The road I was headed, if I would have kept it going, gaining all that weight, yeah. and my inflammation was high, and I was headed to diabetes, and diabetes caused this right. stroke, heart attack, and then sometimes they even might even cut your legs and all that. It yeah, causes those, blind. Those are the most extreme and uh, the worst. Uh, but it has happened. It does happen, yeah. If I would have kept day. going, I mean, my doctor said 10 years down the road, you don't yeah. want to visit there. So, so once a while, yeah, I would... It's better to proactively invest in your health. And by this is like a really nutritional bread as well. So you're basically, um, you know, investing in high-density nutritional foods. So um, Just to keep go, in it mind... It goes a long ways. Yeah, when, you know, because I know that there's, you know, times that in the past we would eat junk food, fast food, those kind of foods also yeah. cost money. Absolutely. Yeah, so I... Well, they cost money a lot in the long run because they cause you all those health, this, this you know, balances. And doctor visits too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So... So this is part of our uh, insurance plan, health insurance plan. Avoiding is, doctor visits. <laughs> yeah. 
so, eat good and uh, live healthy. Yes. So we will. You can eat the bread with anything you want. Nut butter. You can put butter in it. You can put jam in it. We make our own jam. Uh, avocado toast. You can do uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato, BLT, halal bacon, beef bacon. We would do. Yeah. I mean, later my husband is gonna make our lunch. We're having shrimp pesto. Yeah. So we'll just show you a little bit of what it looks like. Whatever you use for bread, you can use this bread. Yeah. With moderation also because <laughs> yeah. the nuts are expensive but uh, I been thinking also when somebody wants to change their health we all are from different cultures mm. some of us have to have bread some of us has to have yeah. our rice some of us has to have I mean my country we eat pasta also yeah. so the pasta we change it to zucchini pasta yeah, exactly. rice I change it to cauliflower so yeah. there are really solutions so if you want to change your health mm -hmm. there are so many uh, alternatives uh, yes and yeah. they are delicious this is one of the areas that Yasmin is really proficient in she thinks about these things a lot and then she comes up with recipes a lot of times that are like really really good but they fit whatever diets that we've been doing, you know? So when I started this journey, it's going to be a year in July. I missed pizza. Oh, yeah. And I was like looking around, researching it, and then I was like, okay, you can use pizza dough for the meat or chicken. Yeah. And we are addicted to it now. We <laughs> love good. it. Yeah, we It's really it. filling too, my gosh. Very filling, and I don't go back to it. That's one yeah. thing I'm liking exactly. with this food. So thanks for asking and requesting this bread after it bakes. Uh, oh, the timer. Uh, if I don't put things in timer, I forget. <laughs> about 50 minutes, because we talked about five minutes. 50, honey, you, you put 105. <laughs> How's that? Perfect. Okay. So we will get back to you guys soon. <laughs> I know some of you would say, why didn't you share the shrimp pesto zucchini pasta sauce that your husband was making so i will share that too so we don't forget we have this zucchini machine so he has about three zucchinis that is pasta right pasta substitute zoodles zoodles yep and we have some leftover mushrooms we have to use those normally we make our own basil pesto but since our garden is not thriving, we bought this from Costco. A little bit of olive oil. Saute the mushrooms first. Normally my husband adds her onions, but we don't have onions today. My wife always teaches me, use what you have. That's right, use what you have, babe. We are not running to the store. <laughs> we have a little bit of leftover of the uh, pesto. I like to get the mushrooms going and then the pesto sauce. The shrimp is already cooked actually, so you don't want to overcook it. Mm. So you add in that later and then the zucchini, uh, you really just put it in on the top and then it, it so it doesn't uh, get too soft. So it doesn't need a lot of salt because there's salt in the pesto sauce. Mm -hmm. But I like to put some pepper in to kind of take it up a notch. Now you get it. you don't want to overcook the basil sauce, but get the shrimp in there to soak up some of that goodness and just heat it up a little bit and then turn that off and add the noodles. That smells so good. Mm -hmm. mm. So, use what you got. <laughs> and we had these, so I'm gonna put some. What are those? Olives in there. Some nice kalamati olives. Yep. So I'll break those up. Mix the olives with it, and what's next? Well, the shrimp are nice and warm now, mm -hmm. and heated up. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn off the heat. Actually, turn the heat off. And then I'm going to put these zoodles on top and just let them 
kind of steep right in there. Doesn't that look like pasta, you all? Yeah. The variety God gave us is and amazing. It's, it's excellent for you too, the thing is, you know. A lot of fiber and yeah. a lot of uh, hydration too. It's got a lot of water in it, the zucchini. But I'm not gonna forget this little piece too. Nothing goes waste at the farm, right, honey? <laughs> Let's sneak in in the bread. Ooh -wee. It's coming together. Yeah, she nice. be looking good. Yeah, looks good. I was just reading one of the comments yeah. and someone said, I haven't tried it. duck eggs. How would you describe duck eggs to you? Um, I mean, it's like regular eggs, except you just have more. That's kind of how I describe it. Me too. It tastes the same. Pretty much, yeah. It just doesn't have an eggy smell. No, but it, ha it has uh, more omega, omegas, and, um, and it's, the yolk is larger. More protein too. Yeah. yeah, less less acid too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's why some people might have uh, sensitivity to regular chicken eggs, and then they can have duck eggs. Mm -hmm. Pheasant yes. eggs. Yeah. Quail eggs. Yep. So. Yeah. So if you can't have one, you might be able to have the other, so. Actually, we have pheasant eggs, so let me show you what they look like. So, all, all of them together like that. This, this is, is a regular chicken egg, right there. And then yeah. this is a, a quail egg, as you can see. The difference. The, the size difference is just a little bit. This yep. one's a little bit bigger than that one. And then, the duck egg. And that one is, is substantially bigger than these. So you put them together <laughs> in order of size. Let me show. Yep. Like that. Yep. Duck, chicken, pheasant. Yep. Too bad we don't have the uh, quail, quail, quail eggs. Egg. The quail eggs are smaller than the pheasant eggs. They're yeah. It's a little tiny. But they're really, it's amazing because when you crack them and, and, uh, they, and you cook them in a pan, they like spread out almost as much as like a regular egg, it seems like. So it's like the density of it is there. Or and it's so know. tiny. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of variety. Mm-hmm. You're amazing. waiting the bread still. That's that's uh, one of the blessings of God, you know, is there's so much variety in the world. And the eggs are one of them. <laughs> Cheap way and a good way of being healthy. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's like bread, regular bread. You just poke it all the way and then it's nice and dry so i'm gonna go ahead and get it out and let it cool down for a long time there we go the more it cools down the easier it just comes out perfect Ooh, that looks good mm -hmm. perfect mashallah We'll just go ahead and let it cool down even a little more and then we'll slice it and show you the inside. It's supposed to look like sourdough bread, you know? Look how thick it is, just like a sandwich sliced bread. Nice and brown as well. A beautiful slices too.
we have homemade strawberries from our garden. husband went to drop the children at Krari. So this is what it looks like. Bismillah. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up as I enjoy my low carb bread with some tea. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.